Check out my new coffee cup. I'm sorry. It's actually my wife's coffee cup. We recently did a ministry trip to Jacksonville and I, I picked up a coffee cup as a gift for her in the airport. The funny thing is, is that I don't think she's even had a, a drink out of it yet, but this is like my third time. It works. Does the job. Today's Halloween. I don't know if you'll be watching this on Halloween. A lot of people who are Christians hate Halloween. It does have a lot of bad stuff associated with it. It origin actually originated, I think, with some good origins. But over time, it just became more associated with stuff that's not good. It's like the word monster. The word monster actually means supernatural. And people who were able to do amazing supernatural thing were, back in the day, when it was part of the language, they were called monsters. But over time, you didn't see that as much coming from the positive side as much as the negative side. So the word monster became something we normally associate as negative. Since it's Halloween, I want to talk to you today about healing and harvest. There's a couple ministry trips that I haven't filled you in on. We recently went to a local church here in Noonan, Georgia called One Life Community. Amazing uh, pastors, Matt and Judy. And there's just some really awesome stuff that happened. Um, we did some healing activation. I prayed for a gentleman who just, he, because of a, a lot of drug use, he was just then able to take deep breaths. He had to use a rescue inhaler like every day, stuff like that. We just prayed for him and right away he was like, ah, just took one of the deepest breaths that he had ever taken in his life or taken for many years. We had the team call out words of knowledge about different things. My wife had a word of knowledge about acid reflux, indigestion, stuff like that. And there were several people in the room and at the building that we prayed for to be healed from that. Uh, one lady actually had developed a lump in her throat from all of the acid reflux just kind of churning up in her esophagus. The team prayed for her and she started swallowing and it went completely away. Where did it go? I don't know. It got vaporized by the Holy Spirit. Um, and then... There's many more miracles that happened that service as well. The whole church was really impacted and excited about what God was doing. A couple of weeks ago, weekends ago, I was in Jacksonville. The funny thing is, is that I was there twice this month. I went down the, there the first time to get my CrossFit certification, which I was able to pass, which is really neat. So I'm, I'm supporting the shirt today. Constantly varied high intensity functional movement. That's CrossFit, but that's a different video. So we were back down in Jacksonville. And uh, I was invited to go with my good buddy Scott Thompson. He was doing a, an immersed youth conference down there at uh, New Life Church in Jacksonville. And the, the cool thing was is that I went to Fire School of Ministry and the person who had organized the whole conference, Farrell Galloway, he's also a Fire School of Ministry grad. He graduated just a few months before I did in the first Fire School of Ministry class. So it was neat to be able to catch up with him. So we're in this massive, beautiful church that is just going after the kingdom in Jacksonville. And we saw some pretty amazing healings happening there. Um, we did a healing activation um, on a Saturday morning where we were talking about how to pray for the sick, how to see and believe for healing, and just making it simple. The gospel is simple, and all the deep revelation I've come to, it seems like it ends up being more simplified. So uh, just right off the bat, um, we, we pray for just, we have words of knowledge for several different things, um, from headaches to back pain to knee pain. We began to pray for people to release healing. Several wrists got healed. Uh, one guy actually, he had someone that said, owed him some money, so he punched the guy right in the face and broke his arm. He had a wrist brace on, and he didn't think God would heal him because obviously that wasn't something that you want to do. You go around punching people in the face to owe you money. You want to be forgiving. Well, one of the lady speakers there had been talking about forgiveness, and he decided to forgive the guy. And then when it was time for healing, um, one of our team prayed for him. They said he felt fire in his wrist. He took the wrist brace off, and it felt completely better. Um, another girl, she had gotten some, somewhat healed of back pain. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Her friend who invited her there got healed of back pain. And I said, is there anyone else that has back pain? And she came up to, to respond to the call of her best friend. And she had a knot in her back that had been there for several years. It really irritated her. So I had her friend put her hand on her back, and you could feel the knot. And this is happening in front of the whole room. And she's feeling knot on her friend's back. Now her friend's not even a believer yet. She just kind of came. She didn't think anything was going to happen. If we brought her up there and prayed for her, she just kind of went with it because she's outgoing. And we began to pray for her. And as we were praying for her, you know how you take a sheet like you're making your bed, and you kind of whip the sheet out, and it smooths it all out? 
I kind of saw that happen in my mind's eye. It's one of the ways that God speaks to me prophetically. And so I just told her what I saw. And I said, is it still there? And her friend put her hand there. And then the girl checked for herself. And she goes, oh, crap. And she starts checking all over her bag because the knot had completely disappeared. Another lady, she had some type of marble thing in her hand, like a knot or something like that in there as well. Pray for The team prayed for her. I don't even know if the team prayed for her. She might have just been worshiping. I can't remember it exactly. Completely disappeared. A cyst on the wrist disappeared. You having like Jesus pulling off all these disappearing acts and all these ailments that were physically there. Uh, another kid had back pain and he said he had one leg shorter than the other. And this is just real, something really neat to do. You can kind of watch the legs grow out. His legs were kind of like that. It's about that much difference. So we had him sit up front on the floor. I had a team member grab his feet. Now I've prayed for this a couple of times and just to be honest with you, I haven't seen it. We had it happen in our Beth Atlanta School of Supernatural Ministry, but I didn't like get my eyeballs on it that night. I was kind of in the back. I didn't really see it happen until it had already happened. Pray for a couple of people to see this happen. And so I thought, let's just go for it. Let's see what happens. Faith is spelled R-A-S-K. It's going for it. It's like stepping out and then then you walk on the water. You find out you didn't sing after all that the gospel really works. So he was out there and we had a team of prayer. So everyone came forward, like the whole room. I don't know how many people were there, but we started praying and he slowly saw as his leg just begin to grow back. And you could feel the power of God all over him. And it just ended up even just like that. It was just amazing. The whole room was just stoked. They saw all kinds of miracles. And the bigger services, the night services, and some of the sessions that Scott Thompson led, uh, he's just an amazing activator. He does the same thing for Jesus Culture, activating and in the supernatural through words of knowledge and healing and the prophetic. Uh, one lady, or one young lady, uh, she had glaucoma, which meant that she only had, she had no peripheral vision, so she just kind of saw like this. And instantly, boom, her peripheral vision opened right up and she could see all around her. God is a healing God. There was many more miracles. I wish, <laughs> I, should have, I should have a list in front of you so I can reveal some to you here and share some more with you to encourage your faith. You know, as I said in the Core Values of Healing video, we don't ask God to do something He's empowered us to do. We co-labor with Him to bring healing to the earth, to bring His kingdom to the earth. You know, it is a time for harvest. This is the last day of October. We were praying before school of ministry uh, the other night, and we just felt like dreams are ripe for harvest. During the worship the night, I just kind of saw that as we were worshiping, we were activating our our hearts and our hearts became sickles that would reap the dreams that are kind of growing up for us in heaven. And I feel like David kind of did that. There was a dream in heaven of the kingdom to come to earth. And he had such such a heart after after God's own heart to, to that he grew, he reached forward into a time and an epoch and a season that wasn't even meant for him. And he sickled that dream of heaven coming to earth. And he began to build the kingdom of heaven on the earth like a natural for shadowing the supernatural that would come in Jesus. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why Jesus is called the Son of David. Because they both came to establish the kingdom of heaven on the earth. Bless you guys. I just In Jesus' name, any healing right now, we just release it to you, whatever it is. You can just lay hands on yourself and, uh, and just be 100% healed, be 100% whole. That is absolutely God's will for you because he's a good, amazing, and awesome God. Got our products right here, um, Call for Revival is my first book, Activating Prophetic Lifestyle, and the Healing, or the Purity book, the Pure Source. Check those out on Amazon, I think I might have a link on the video or somewhere, and I think they'll really just help and bless you guys. I uh, Just have an amazing day, have an amazing week, healing and harvest. It's a promise for you, just look for it to reap what God's doing in the earth. Love you guys, I'll see you later, bye.